Welcome back, Clueless Clickers. This is Google Feud 6. It's 9. Video title clearly says 6. That makes it 69. Ha ha ha. Can you get the intro right for once, please? Joe is a super duper useless and demented noodle brain. And you're a puffed up orange criminal. All right, folks, let's get this round started. I will go first today and choose the entertainment category. Let's see, movies where the main character is blank. No way, that's the easiest round, and even Barack doesn't watch movies. I am a movie holic Trumpy, and I will crush you once again for my revenge. What the heck? That word movie holic doesn't even exist. After I win this round, it will forever be planted inside your mind. I would always bring a big ice cream tub into any theater to watch a movie. That's the best feeling ever. Ever. Shut up, you old sack of bones. We're about to start playing, and nobody cares if you're hungry. I just called Melania, and Melania is hungry as I am, so we will eat. Don't you dare, you old piece of ancient shape of human being, to put the name of my wife inside your dirty mouth. If you can count Grumpy Trumpy, I just did it twice. Oh, you piece of... Guys, please, Baraki is about to start the game. After we finish the game, you can go and fight all you want. I'll go with my first guess, and it will be... Movies where the main character is a badass. Nice one, Obama-rama. 9,000 points on your first guess. I completely disagree. That is way too many points for a such easy answer. Nobody here sets the points of the game, except for the search volumes on Google. You can enjoy your beginner's luck while it lasts. It's not a thing about luck. It's about being smart, logical, and most importantly, being a movie-holic. I bet you will get the next guess wrong, Baraki. If badass is second most searched, then looks like the theme is personality and character traits related. You can try putting in fat or ugly for your next guess, Obama-rama the llama. The most searched Google phrase must be demented. Movies where the main character is demented like Joe Biden. That sentence is way too long, Donnie. Also, I'm on a hot streak, so the next one has to be movies where the main character is hot. Haha, <laughs> of course, you're in a streak, in a loser's streak. How could that not be a search? I mean, there are a lot of movies with hot main characters. It seems you're not that movie-holic as you thought, Obama. It was a good try, Obama-rama, don't worry. Let's see the next one, Barack. Three more more guesses looking promising. Guess if you can, Black Racky? Not again, you damn racist. Guys, don't start again. I'll show this damn racist. I'm a movie-holic, and I'll win this in a smarter way. So my next guess is the main character is a genius. Damn nice 5,000 points, Obama-rama. Oh, fucking yes. Just as once Britney said, oops, I did it again. What the hell? Why are you using a white reference, Barack? You're supposed to quote rappers or the Kardashians. Oh, you fat Oompa Loompa Donald. Stop it with your racist jokes. Why are we talking about movies where the main character is a genius? Where have you been this whole time? You literally just talked a minute ago. I guess I'm still here now. I'm not really sure. Your dementia is striking again, cocaine, koala, sleepy Joe. You should record with your phone every conversation you have during the day. And at the same time, it could represent a possible cancellation from you and the dirty things you say in the day. Sorry, Donnie, but I don't get your point. Why would I have been recording every conversation during my day? I mean, I'm the president of the U.S., not an NSA officer. If you are the president of the U.S., you're supposed not to say that in public, even less in a viral streaming platform as YouTube. People already know that. We were exposed by a Netflix documentary called The Social Media Dilemma. If we are not canceled by the racist comments of Donald, Joe will be the threat by saying state secrets. Guys, can we ignore what happened and focus on the game? I like controversies. Go and fail, Baraki. I want to see the nerd fail badly. All right, then. My next thought is movies where the main character is villain, because badass and villain are same things. That's too general. Shut up and watch me slap it in. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Who is the king of Google now? Oh my god, Obama Rama the Ding Dong Lama. 16,000 points in one guess. I already told you, I have a feeling I will win today. Shut up, you robot nerd. You can never beat me because the real OG of Google feud is me, not you. Someone is jealous because you know that the winner will go in the night to a fancy dinner with me. Sorry, Joe, but it isn't true and it's pretty disgusting. Nobody wants to have an image of you having dinner, you demented pumpkin seed. People are not stupid as you, so please shut up, you rotting, perverted sack of bones. I know you want to share time with me, Donnie. We are besties, right? I will share a boxing ring with you, then I will knock all your teeth out so you can never taste ice cream out of Jill's ass. Can we just have one friendly game of Google Feud? Like, come on, guys. I completely agree. I will go with my next guess, and I'm thinking movies where the main character is stupid. Ha, ah, dumbass. You screwed up your chances of beating me in the same way as your answer. A stupid robot. I won't argue with you, Donnie. I have 30,000 points, and I still have two remaining guesses. So, watch and learn. My next guess is movies where the main character is sad. Get wrecked, you nerd. Just as once Britney could say, oops, you did it again. You have your 30,000 points all because of your beginner's luck. Well, Donald, you must have to wait for your turn. And until that happens, Obama is the provisional winner. Screw you, Bushy Wushy. You were less polite back in 2002. We already agreed on not talking about controversial things. Come on, Baraki. Show us what you got. You're on really high points at the moment. Watch this. My next guess is movies where the main character is betrayed. Huh, betrayed? Why did you think of that? Because, Bushy, every movie has a plot twist and ends up with someone being betrayed. So I will lock that bad boy in. Woohoo! Another 3,000 points, Obama-rama. Make that final guess count. Donnie, you should accept that Obama's in a good streak. 
33,000 points is not easy. I insist, Bushy, you were less... Yes, Donald, everyone here got your viewpoint about me. Just keep it for yourself. Oh, but Donald is right. I remember once in 2002... Jesus Christ, Biden. Shut up. We are playing and you're supposed to be sleeping. How come your dementia left the chat? Why are you so obsessed with me sleeping? Because it's what elder people do in the afternoon after taking their sleeping pills. Except Joe has 42 bags of cocaine just to wake him up. You are caring about my health, Bushy. You're such a considerate man. Let me go with what I think the next Googled phrase. Movies where the main character is alone. Nice one, Obama-rama. Jesus Christ, Obama has to be cheating. It's about having a functional brain, Donnie. Now I will go with movies where the main character is depressed because it looks like more and more people are depressed living on the earth. Are you kidding me? 45,000 points? You have to be cheating or something. This is not possible. Of course it is possible, Donnie. Need to have good common sense when it comes to Google searches. That is very true, bushy-wushy. I will go with my next guess. Movies where the main character is immortal because good guys never die in a movie and bad guys will always die. Holy shit, finally you failed. Now it's my turn. Not so fast. Let's see the results. An animal, a ghost, and crazy are the other three. Yep. There is no way I would think of these. Sounds a lot like Joe Biden, a crazy animal who will soon turn into a ghost. And you will be the first I haunt at night. Okay, Doki, who's going next? I'll go next and I will pick the culture category. Why do millennials love blank? That's going to be a tough one. This is going to be really difficult. We are not any way a millennial. And Joe Biden is the most expired person. Hey, Tangerine, shut up and let's play. I will go fast today. It would be really hard to beat Obama. I admit it's tricky, but it would be a really good round. Both of you will lose today against me. It is a fact from the future. My first guess will be, why do millennials love avocado? Sweet, 11,000 points. That's hitting a nerve there. I can't imagine why people spend over 10 bucks for avocado on toast. I mean, it does too taste good and it's healthy. If you can't afford 10 buck breakfast, then you are really broke. It's not about the money, it's about not being worth it. Remind me again, Joe, how much do you spend on cocaine every month? Anyways, I got my next guess. I will go with toast. If millennials love avocado, they would like toast as well. Oh, no bushy. Damn, I was convinced toast would be correct. Now, this can get really tricky. Go with Twitter. I'm convinced every millennial loves to use Twitter and send tweets. No, I'm good. Good, Donnie. Actually, let me go with tattoo. It's something really popular nowadays, I think. That's too generic, old man. But it worked. 14,000 points. Let's go. I'm lucky I didn't get this round. I have no clue about new generation cultures. Me neither. I'm just thinking and recalling what I usually see on the streets. Let me try with something more controversial. LGBTQ. I'm seeing rainbow flags everywhere. Please, nobody comments anything about that or we will get banned from here. Especially you, Trump. Keep your mouth closed. They should add a D into LGBTQ, which stands for demented people. Then they should add F in there for fat people. All right, let's move on, Bushy, before they get us canceled. I will go with nostalgia, trying to tap into the minds and ideas of millennials. Whoa, that's 9,000 points. Jeez, I did not know Bushy was an undercover millennial himself. Honestly, at this point, I don't even know if millennials are searching this or what. Me too. All you millennials watching, why do you search these stuff? Ha ha ha. Trumpy getting stupider. I thought you were king of Google. Joe, you're living proof evolution can go in reverse, you demented malfunction noodle brains. Speaking of evolution, Trump, you must have skipped the line when they were handing out brains, and you went straight for the hairspray instead. All right, guys, let's go on with Bush's guess. I am out of ideas. I will type in the, and hopefully one of these search phrases contain the word the in it. What the fuck was that? Are you high or something? You screwed it up even worse than Obama. Shut up, Trumpy Rumpy. I got 45,000 points, remember. Okay, I have an idea. I believe millennials love Harry Potter because that's a very popular topic amongst them. Nice one, Bushy. Let's go. 28,000 points in the bag. And let's keep going. My next one is why do millennials love pets? I've seen so many animal TikToks. Oh, no, Bushy, that's Gigi. My goodness. I thought you were smart. Millennials and Disney, what's the connection in that? I thought that was more of a Gen Z thing. I didn't know millennials love dogs just like me. Because you are a dog. Anyways, I'll move on with my epic Trump round. Time to see what you got, fake Google King. Watch this, Baraki. I will go with this random category. I think I'm a blank. Oh, Trump in this round is- It's gonna be a disaster because Trump is dumb and orange. Shut your cocaine lungs, Joe Biden. Watch me. I will go with genius because I am a genius. Of course you are. You got it wrong at the first guess. You set a personal record. Why are there no geniuses in the world? Google's telling me everyone is stupid. That's because your presidency made people dumb. Think of the problems and issues people face. Okay, then in that case I will type in, I think I'm a person because people are so dumb they don't even know they are humans. Okay, 7,000 points, not bad. Why on earth are people searching for I think I'm a bad person? Barack, in this world of constant social media exposure, folks are more self-aware or sometimes self-conscious. Every mistake or bad choice can seem amplified. They might be looking for reassurance or ways to cope, you know? Social media has actually made people weaker than ever. That's why you need to use Twitter 
Twitter. It's the only non-Fugazi place. They are modestly the same things, Donnie. I think I got my next guess. If people think they are bad, there's also people who think they are good. Okay, that word shouldn't fail. Well, this time it did fail, ha. Ah. Cocaine Sleepy Koala, the only thing failing is you stupid fucking laugh just then. That was a very Joe Biden laugh. What's happening to the Google King, huh? Two guesses left and only 7,000 points. Joe, you are an old hoe. Next I will go with I think I'm a narcissist. Oh my lord, you are lucky here. I thought Grumpy Trumpy was the only narcissist in the world. Oh, fuck yes, baby. Call to the fire department because I'm pure and bold fire. 25,000 points. I'm like the bulls of the 90s. I'm unstoppable, bitches. Congrats, man. However, Obama is still in your path. Why are so many people thinking they are narcissists? Because of Donald Trump being president for a term. I am the greatest, and I will beat Obama the robot nerd. You still got 20,000 more points to go, Donnie. Don't worry, Bushy Wushy. I am the streak, and the streak says that his next guess is sociopath. Come on, come on. Yes, baby. I know I'm fucking right. Yeah, baby, 29,000 points up your ass. Why in the goddamn world? Why are people searching for I think I'm a sociopath? Obama, it's the age of self-diagnosis. Thanks to Dr. Google, everyone's trying to pinpoint their personality quirks and behaviors. Trumpy Rumpy, did you find your chronic overconfidence there too? It's not overconfidence. It's called intelligent, sleepy, quirky, dumb, laughing Joe Biden. Come on, Donnie, you still have two more guesses to go. There's no way Donnie will get 16,000 points in two guesses. All I need is the second and third most Googled phrases, you nerd, then I will beat you once again. Quick tip, Donnie, put in fat pig would get you 9,000 points. This is Google for human, not for animals, you demented, sleepy cocaine koala. Law facts. And then what would be your next guess then? We have sociopath, narcissist, we are just missing psychopath. Bro, no one would call themselves a psychopath, Donnie. If that makes the list, it would be super messed up. This game of feud has taught me people are getting more and more stupider. I'm locking in psychopath. Damn, that was 8,000 points. What in the actual fuck? No wonder therapy salaries are booming like crazy. Jeez, if you guys search that, just go talk to your friends, because this is actually depressing. Ha ha ha, depressing because you're about to lose. I think the 6,000 point phrase is, I think I'm a clown because people seem to be super dumb. Get clowned up your ass. Trumpy, you are a clown who typed in clown and got it wrong like a clown. Joe Biden, I really want to punch your demented head and turn you into a clown myself. Ha <laughs> wow, Joe. I'm the unstoppable man. Even Google can't stop me. You got it wrong, and you have one guess left. So it seems that the king of Google feud will lose his fake title. All you need is 9,000 point guess to win, Donnie. This is super easy. People would search for the dumbest phrases on Google. So the winning phrase is, I think I'm a maniac. Get wrecked, Trumpy. You are a maniac. Yes, let's go. I won again today. Looks like Obama-rama the llama will have a great dinner with me. I never said that. Jesus Christ, Biden. Why does everything you say sounds like an improper sex proposal? I mean, you're old and perverted, which makes you fucking disgusting. You didn't say that yesterday. I'm about to puke. If Obama doesn't come, Donnie, I will take you. Anyways, why? Why are people searching for I think I'm a clone? I do not understand. I mean, we are getting cloned in real time. Big question is, what the fuck is hypochondriac? It's a person who is abnormally anxious about their health. Geez, I'm surprised no one thought they are fat. You can't talk, Joe. You are a hypochondriac yourself. Well, that's a new word I learned today for sure. And Donnie is no longer a Google king. Screw you, Black Racky. Wait till tomorrow. Like and subscribe.